Woof. Woof. A doof. Okay, and again, sit and spin. And nothing much to it. I think this is the entryway to the observatory, if I remember correctly. Okay, so we eyes wide shut now. We are eyes wide. Yeah, this is the observatory map. These are the town folks. Or my co workers. Okay, so there's Father Father, the army general, the mayor. The local police staff. Oh no, that's the uh, that's the FBI head. Then that's local police staff. Then that's the mayor. Is that me? And we are looking out the abandoned observatory. I think that is supposed to be me. Okay, time to sacrifice the buffalo. No, stop! You can't! And then I will slowly... I will resume or become the place of myself. Why am I building a ship? Oh, aha! See, on my ship is the... Uh, is the masthead that I found down there. Oh, that wasn't me building the ship. That is the police chief. Hartley Taft. Okay, Mr. Taft, what do you have to tell us? You're whittling, clearly. I wish I had the patience for it. Okay. The police chief was into something. And I can't get out there. Damn. What am I... What am I meant to be doing? Hello? Oh. Actually look at the thing that I'm working on. So I can at least interact with my visions of the past. What the fuck? Bouts of temper? What did you destroy, Taft? This is the photo booth. Right outside the, uh... Outside the convenience store. The gas station. Yeah, see? I'm out here. Okay, so who's in the photo booth then? It's the mayor. The mayor's ashamed of something. What is the matter, Mr. Mayor? So am I still tripping balls or is this me like discovering the conspiracy after I'm being let out of jail? Because I feel like I'm still tripping balls. Or maybe I'm just seeing clearly things that I'd noticed in the past. Oh, uh, mm, girl, maybe not a, not an Irish coffee at this early in this morning. Oh, wait, hold on. That's, oh, that's the uh, army general talking to Eminger. You're Eminger. Oh, you're... so... Grandfather... Dad... Son? What's going on with you, miss? Susan. Does that help me in any way, shape, or form? Wait, then who did... who did... you just passed a kid off to a ghost. An LSD ghost. Oh, uh, rough, but okay. Uh, 
uh, loveless marriage. Nicely done steak, though. From our adulterous priest. This much I can put together. Who, what kind of psychopath eats peas one at a time? I am sorry. You are in... No, no, wait, no. No, that was not the priest. This is the... This is the police, or the FBI chief. Right, 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 right. And that was the secretary? I do want to see what kind of dirt you have. Nothing. Man, your desk doesn't even have drawers. Your desk sucks, dude. And you're shitty at golf. You have a rough life. Now I guess it's my turn to comfort him? Why should I comfort him? He has been a source of nothing but grief for me. Although I guess at this point I am trying to understand his grief. Ooh, uh, hmm, hey. Ah, now I'm shitty dad. Okay, what's up with father, father? Oh, and the wife basically knows. Okay, so there is some kind of conspiracy of in, like, all positions of power. Or all of these men had it, like, Oh, it's, it's rough being in a position of power. And now I'm trying to wrestle with also being in a position of power. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, at some point in that, I murdered a buffalo. You always have to raise your eyebrows and squint when you are applying any kind of makeup. This is just the rules. Yeah, that's a cool reveal. I dig that. Look, it's, it's pretty slick. Anyways, we've solved the case of the grand conspiracy. The people in power are sad and lonely and cover for each other. Go figure. Power corrupts. Would never have guessed. Smash into a thousand pieces on the floor. Damn it. Oh. Shit. Hey. Ah, and it's my dad or my pops. You're also dying. Oh, and then that's why I can relate to my partner. Look, dad, I made it. I made it into the FBI. I'm the super special super cop. I'm gonna go snitch on all my friends. Dying dad gives me key to a thing. And as his last wish points me towards his red closet. Which is important. Somehow, for some reason. And, ah, uh, wouldn't you know it, red closet hides a red box, and inside of the red box is... Oh, uh, if we're being honest with ourselves, it's just the fucking red bird. Just gonna jump out and go, booga. Oh, and see, I broke the key off in the lock, so now that I've discovered the secret that my father's been hiding from me this entire time, his one regret in life, I'll never be able to close it again. That key is something that's never been able to be opened. Or never, that's once it's opened is never able to be closed. And whatever I found inside... Well... Either he asked me to burn it, or I'm burning it, and I don't know if I've ever looked in it or not. Because my perspective is not necessarily that of the character's perspective. 
I have interpretation to do. Yeah, it's, it's gotta go. I don't know what was said and done between the previous cut and this one. Ah, and when my mask broke, there's the red bird. <laughs> and because, I mean, of course, that was what was going to happen, right? So now I've made it out the other side of the manhole, which maybe I'm still tripping balls. Maybe I'm literally out here right now. Oh, and of course there was the missing kid who, go figure, sure, all right. This is the only explanation for it. Yeah. Because it would be too horrible to think that Father Father murdered his son to hide his affair. That would be horrendous. Or the boy just wanders off into the night. Ashamed of his dad. No rock here, by the way. There was a rock there in the real world when we're pretty sure we didn't bump our head and have a concussion. I think at some point I got out of jail. It's hard to say how long or if this is real at this point. I just don't know. Is this a symbolism of doing what has to be done? Hey, you got the bill this time. I much appreciate that. We're both out of jail. I'm not sure if we're on good terms. Oh, you do have your locket back. So at least, you know, I found that for you and returned it to you. So like, okay, we're, we're okay-ish. At least you're driving me places again. I appreciate you being a chauffeur. Is this just another I hope this is what happens in the future? Or are we back to reality? Oops, here's gravity. And in slow motion as we pass, there's our missing person just on the side of the road. We're not going to comment. So yeah, hopefully that isn't just a what we're hoping for. And that's Virginia. I hope you enjoyed the movie and my running commentary on it. If nothing else, again, the creators wish to acknowledge their gratitude to Brendan Chug and his Brendan Chung and his game Thirty Flights of Loving, whose inspiration illuminates this work. Undeniably, owes almost every trick up its sleeve to what Brendan Chung is pushing in his in his earlier games, experimenting with the jump cut in a first person perspective. I really like the vibe and the mood of that game, and I hope me sitting here and being over-analytical of what's going on and already knowing the twists and turns that it was going to take uh, didn't ruin the experience or pull people out of it. Because, again, up front, I said this is something that you really should experience yourself, and I do mean it. Support this. Support the work that these people are doing there's nothing else quite like it that i've played um and at the end of the day just buy the soundtrack this is such a great uh great set of music um go watch 
go watch some uh, go watch some Coen Brothers. Go watch some uh, some David Lynch. Have a good time. I don't have much more to say. I'm just sitting here talking through the credits as we're letting the music play out. Basically just killing time. Man, we are thanking the accountants. Uh, I think it's I think it's Annapurna, right? That is the that is the group that does that does the other I want to say walking simulator games, but I mean, they're known for a lot more things. They're the artsy games. Um, what other pedigrees of stuff that like, like I'd already, I'd already name dropped it, but go. Hmm. No, I actually don't remember the name of it. There is a walking simulator. Whose name completely escapes me. I think I name dropped it earlier about the farmer and the mob and the developing photos, but it's gone from me now. Go back to a previous episode where I talk about the development, or the photo development, and go check out that game, because that would also be up there with uh, a different, another different take on, uh, not necessarily like, like adventure game, but walking simulator, where that one is fully voice acted and is a lot more interactive, and there's a lot more nonsense that you're doing rather than just being completely railroaded in this one and i don't really think this makes for a great game i don't know if it would work and it probably would work just as a straight movie like you could get away with it the interactive elements really don't do or don't add a whole lot um but like as something that you drop money on an experience just like go for it it's what else do you want to do i feel sorry that this gets lumped into games as a as a whole which you can go onto the like the playstation store or steam and expect to play a game and end up having to sit through what is a movie and then you know under two hours later you return it and get your money back and that's that's not fair to these creators it's not fair that they're lumped into this kind of ecosystem is this any different from the other game that i'm playing right now on the channel uh milk made of the milky way where there is you know puzzles that you're solving but it is still basically a linear narrative that you're experiencing does the interactivity and the downtime and the self-direction of it make it more game-like as opposed to just kind of being railroaded from set piece to set piece to set piece. That's a delineation that is interesting to me. Um, yeah, I don't know. We are waiting for the end here. Developed in Unity. Okay, yeah, this, this was a Unity game. And also, uh, I don't know about what uh, about what the time frame of this coming out is, but if you stuck around this long, shout out to uh, Cardal, who is uh, in the middle of you know his game studies uh, master's degree question mark. And here's an interesting walking simulator. I wonder if you checked it out and thought it was interesting. I would love to hear your take on it. There's a lot that can be done. This is a, clearly an extensive team putting together an incredibly polished product, but it's still an independent game. And I mean, like, you know, you can have an interesting premise and then do it incredibly stylistically and get quite a visceral reaction out of the audience. Are, are we are we done? This is gonna is it just gonna pop up Virginia at the very end? There we are. Yeah. Okay. Please don't sue me. 
I hope this was transformative enough. I really enjoyed air quotes playing, and I hope y'all enjoyed watching. Have a good rest of the night.